Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. Fire investigators tell us a lit cigarette caused the fire which destroyed an Elmira home Tuesday morning. The fire broke out just after 8 at the duplex at 5658 Foster Avenue in Elmira. Deputy Fire Chief Dan Sincock tells us the fire started somewhere in the back of 58 Foster on the left side of the duplex where four people lived. That side took most of the damage. The right side, home to two people, has smoke and heat damage. The Red Cross is assisting the families this morning. The two-family house is declared uninhabitable. The Chemin County Health Department is offering free flu shots today. The clinic at 103 Washington Street in Elmira is open to the public from 11 to 1. The first 400 people to register will get their flu shots for free. Now you must pre-register at www.chemuncountyhealth.org. You must be 19 years of age or older to receive the free shot. Those who can't make it today can schedule an appointment to get a shot by calling 607-737-2028. But there is a $30 free for a fee for appointments. For a link to the registration website, stay on our website. Just click on useful links. When it comes to business tax climate, a new report ranks New York State at the bottom. This ranking is from the Tax Foundation, a nonpartisan tax research group. New York State is ranked 50th, the worst in the nation. The Tax Foundation ranks states by the money they're able to bring in without the aid of a major tax, like corporate tax, income, or sales tax. In a statement, the group says New York scores at the bottom this year by having the worst individual income tax, the sixth worst unemployment insurance taxes, and the sixth worst property taxes. Pennsylvania is ranked 19th on the list and the Wyoming ranks number one. The deadline is looming for New Yorkers who haven't registered to vote on November 6th. The last day to register is this Friday, October 12th. You can register in person at the Chemung County Board of Elections office and at most county agencies. Residents can pick up a form at any town or village clerk's office or banks or post offices, complete it and return it to the Board of Elections. You can also call 1-800-VOTE to request a voter application or download a form at www.electionsny.gov. That website is also on our website. And mailed forms must be postmarked by October 12th and received to the Board of Elections by October 17th. The deadline for Pennsylvania voters has already passed. And now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast. John. We're looking pretty good to start things off today, Laura, but by the time we get to the afternoon, we're talking about the chance for a couple of showers to roll on through here. We're also looking for some cooling temperatures too. We're in the low 60s for today, but upper 50s tomorrow and low 50s for highs on Friday. And then a hard freeze is possible early Saturday morning where lows could get down into the low to mid 20s in some of our coldest spots. So we have some cold weather to look forward to, but it's still pretty nice out there for today. You're waking up, it's on the cool side, especially in the valleys, but on the higher hills. Starting things off in the upper 40s as we get in towards your afternoon. This is lunchtime. Temperatures warming up. We'll still see some sunshine out ahead, out ahead of an approaching cold front. That front moves through during the afternoon, gives us the chance for a couple of light showers, generally less than a tenth of an inch of rain from this. So while a lot of spots do see a shower today, you just won't see a lot of rainfall in total. The front sweeps through and then we'll see some cooler temperatures for tonight. Low and mid 30s for just about everybody. Tomorrow's looking like a partly cloudy day, a little bit cooler than today with highs in the upper 50s and on Friday uh, we're going to start it off with a couple of showers as a reinforcing shot of cold air comes through. We'll see some sunshine in the afternoon but it won't do much. Highs only in the low 50s and then it's going to be a chilly one on Friday night. Interactive Sky Tracker seven day forecast. Good news here we're going to have a 50 50 weekend. A lot of sunshine on Saturday with highs around 60 degrees and then even warmer for Sunday but we'll have the chance for some showers. And that's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thanks, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY TV News in high definition. That's at 5 36 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.